Hey everybody, welcome to Podcastage. My name is Banjo and I am back with another mic test video for you guys. One of our viewers that goes by the name of Dubmaker requested that I test out the Neewer NW700 microphone, which is what I'm doing today. So let me go ahead and share a theory I have with you guys. I think that this is the exact same microphone as the BM700. It is the exact same form factor, it comes in the exact same packaging, and it comes with the exact same accessories. But I think the only way to figure that out would be take the mics apart, test the components, find out where the components are from, and to compare the frequency responses with, with spectrum analyzers and everything. Thing, but I don't care enough to do any of that. So I guess let's go ahead and take a look at the spec sheet. So just like the BM700 and BM800, the frequency response on this guy is 20 hertz to 16 kilohertz. And I'm just going to leave this up for another second so you can get a look at the rest of those parameters, those specs, if you care. Okay, so here's a visualization of the frequency response. Right up here, there's a little bit of a cut around 5K. There's a little bit of a boost around 10K. And then down around 30 hertz, we see it just roll off slightly. Then here's a picture of the polar pattern just showing you what areas around the mic are going to be able to pick up the best sounding audio. So if you do decide to pick up this mic, which is about 27 bucks on Amazon, and I'll I'll throw a link in the video description what you're gonna get is the microphone the pop filter the shock mount and the cable which is an XLR to 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter cable this microphone does require a little bit of power and some microphone input jacks on computers don't provide that so I found a way to overcome that and that's just using a cheap six dollar USB audio adapter which I'll throw a link to in the video description if this mic doesn't work on your computer immediately so for 27 bucks you get everything that you need to start recording except for a mic stand which you can buy on Amazon for like another five dollars it just blows my mind to that this mic is so cheap back when I started for 27 bucks all you would get is a cheap little tape recorder that sounded like hot garbage so overall I think it's a great sounding mic just like the BM 700 and BM 800 if you do have any questions about this mic leave them down in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can if you found the video helpful or you liked it give me a thumbs up if you thought it sucked give me a big old thumbs down if you want more of these videos which come out every Tuesday click subscribe by clicking the logo in the bottom corner and thanks for watching guys I will see you on Tuesday Tuesday. Talk to you later. Bye. And people are just coming to hear what the mic sounds like anyways. They don't care about anything else, right? That's why I started making these videos. I got so sick and tired of all these review videos where they just talk about the microphone and they don't show you what it sounds like. So I figured, screw it. Why not make a review video where I use the mic the entire time so you hear what it sounds like and you get the information. Gosh, guys, it's common sense. Why didn't you do this earlier?